Good day. Um, I'm making this video um, about a petition that I have on change.org. Um, it's a petition to get muzzle-loading pistols um, taken off the H-Class license as a requirement and placed onto a B-Class license where it can be purchased more easily by the average person. Um, this this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. Now, this is an antique pistol. But replica pistols are exactly the same in every way as an antique. They are true muzzle-loading pistols. There is no difference to the way they work. They look the same. They work the same. And yet they are treated differently. Now, the difference being, this cost me thousands of dollars. And I'm not even allowed legally to shoot this. Not even on my own private property, I'm not allowed to shoot this. A replica of this sort of gun would only cost me about $300 maybe even less depending on what type I got now there are various types um, there are match locks there are wheel locks there's the snap hunts and there's a micolette they are all primitive type pistols primitive tools and yet, these are placed on the same license requirement, an H-Class license, as Glock semi-automatics and cartridge revolvers. Now, living historians, historical reenactors, historical trackers, we use these guns the long arms and we would like to use the pistols but we can't in order to purchase a replica pistol which I've already stated is exactly the same as an original in order to purchase one of those we have to get an H-Class license to get an H-Class license we have to belong to a pistol club and that pistol club is the only place that we can use that gun. We can't use it for historic for historical reenactment in New South Wales. We can't use it for living history purposes in New South Wales. We have to go to a pistol club. The pistol club membership is expensive and the average person can't afford it anyway. Certainly low-income families can't afford it. So this is denying this is denying a low-income family the right to enjoy themselves, to enjoy um, a, a sport, a hobby. Okay? And I simply don't think that's fair. And I just don't see the point in having these guns, which as I say are very primitive, on an H-Class license. I mean, these these aren't the sort of these aren't the sort of tool you'd you'd, you'd hold a bank up with. Um, you you couldn't do a mass shooting with it. Um, most people would not need to know how to use one of these effectively. It takes skill to use one of these. You have to learn about one of these guns intricately before you can make it work to the best of its ability.
it's not so, something you can just pick up and use. Now the problem is that the people who make these laws know very little about guns, if anything at all. And the New South Wales Police Service are much the same. The last, the last police officer that came here had difficulty telling the difference between a muzzle loader and a breech loader. And he certainly couldn't tell the difference between an antique and a replica. And that cost me time and money because I had to try and prove which was which to this man. Totally ridiculous. So I would like to get these pistols changed, as I said, taken off the H class and put onto a B class. It's still on a license. It means that anybody who wants to buy one still has to have a license. So criminals can't buy these because they've got a criminal history and therefore they can't get a license and therefore they can't buy a gun. They get most of their guns from the black market. They don't get them from, from uh, licensed gun holders, from law-abiding citizens. We have our guns locked up in safes, okay? One here, and I've got another one on the other side of the room. And all my guns are locked up when I'm not in control of them. Um, this is the same across New South Wales. So, uh, so there is little point in having these guns on an H-Class license. There's just no point. As I say, I can have this one. I can own this one because it's an antique. It's exactly the same as a replica, but this one's an antique. Thousands of dollars to get this one. If these replicas were on a B-class license, I could have bought the same thing for about $300. And I'd be able to use it. I'd actually be able to fire it. Even if it was just only blanks for historical reenactment or living history purposes. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say. I would like as many people to sign my petition as possible, please, and try and get this particular ridiculous law changed. Um, I'll put a link underneath this video um, to my petition and uh, I would be very pleased if you would share this video and, uh, and sign my petition. Not just for me but for all the other living historians and historical reenactors in New South Wales. Uh, maybe this, after this gets put through, if it gets put through, um, there's a chance that other people may start petitions and other states may follow suit. But uh, for me to put in a petition for all states in Australia at this time is not practical because all states have different laws. Now I will make it quite clear that I do not include percussion pistols, percussion muzzle loading pistols in this petition for the very simple reason that they are percussion and they're not subject to the same skill and requirements needed to fire one of these. Now that doesn't mean that I don't believe that the percussion ones should also be on a B-class license. It simply means that I'm taking baby steps at this stage and I have to see both sides of the argument and I can see the argument for safety. I can see that. But at the same time, these just don't come into the equation. These just don't, don't match up to their reasons, the government's reasons for the safety of the public. It just makes no sense. 
anyway I think that's all I've got to say um, as I said please go to the petition please sign it um, the more signatures the better chance we have of getting this through thank you very much